guys welcome back today i have my new rc truck over here and we're going today we're going to unbox it and today we're going to have some shots if it rains we're going to off-road it in muddy areas now we're going to do the details of the car so um this is also a remote control this is a very confusing model so we have to bear with me and that when you press this it's start engine it cannot turn off when you press this this will mute And when it's still, it will mute. We do have the charger over here, battery pack, and uh, another ba extra batteries over here. If you run out, these are AA batteries, and you have a four pack over here. And when we unbox it, we're going to put a time lapse in the video starting now. A few moments later. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're at our backyard over here and we have this and then we have this a monster truck over here. I do not know this name, but we will check it. And that uh, we do have um I think that's six inch wheels and we do have a uh, power remote. When you click start, I don't want you to hear it. We're probably gonna mute it, but I don't know. But when you hit this button over here it says start. Press it again and it will mute automatically. When you press engine, it's a more powerful part of start. So when you click start, you can click engine two. And uh, this is the engine over here. Do you hear that correct? And that means that this car is all wheel drive. This is a monster truck, so it could go through anything, even snow. But sometimes it's a monster truck and not a real one where people make handmade and that you can't really go through grass but when you pass through stuff and you control it very fast, it will. And that this is the engine and when you look at the battery, it's the Odyssey battery. And that this is this is not the Honda Odyssey, this is a way different Honda Odyssey. This is the pickup truck. And that you can't really go inside of the pickup truck, but the engine is pretty cool. And you do have the six inch wheels, which doesn't have any rims. When we take a look at the back of this Odyssey, here's the here's the battery over here. I call this Odyssey because I do love minivans. And that you have a 9.6 lithium ton, and that it's not auto. And that you do have your batteries over here, and that you have all wheel drive, your cross over here. By the way, these are all fakes and screwdrivers, so these are made of plastic, but. They're plastic because they're a toy, and these, my old monster truck was totaled, and these are very nice inch wheels, they're made of rubber, you do not have a license plate for sure, I wish I had, and that, that when you look at the back, you can see your trunk space over here, you do not have a bed on your back, and this is just for off-roading and just for fun, and because of this remote over here, this remote isn't any Xbox remote, but it's fine, and when you want to go inside, use a screwdriver, and then you do have the trunk space on the back. See, oh, you told me, oh, we can, where's the trunk space? The trunk space is right over here in the back, but there's not lots of trunk space. If you guess this in real life and you buy a quarter for 50, which basically the model as this, you would just get 38.8 cubic feet of cargo space. When you look at the Chevy Tahoe, which is based on the Chevy Silverado, which is also the same thing as the 4950 but built on a truck platform when you look at tahoe it's 28.2 cubic feet which is basically the same trunk space which is going to be in real life but the reason why i said that is that this is basically half of 28 and go to the width of 28 the width is 28 and when you go um long it's half 20 and that uh, you do have your um logos over here and these are copyrighted logos which aren't available in nascar but they would be shown in nascar if you ever go there all of the copyrighted logos like food lion walmart any car brand logos like toyota or like the car's brand example you're in the nascar driver and you drive a toyota there will be a toyota logo on the bottom like this you will see this in tons and tons of cars you have a firestone logo because these rubbers are made of firestone too and you have this bigfoot over here this is named bigfoot i call it odyssey because i like minivans and that you have customized over here and these aren't real paint this is plastic so when you get so when you get plastic like this you would get it blue but if the plastic is like tar made of white you will get it as white so 
Penny, and I'm near trees right now. You do use trees for this car too, but this is made of engine and it doesn't burst out smoke. It doesn't make any rip outs, it doesn't make any burnouts, it doesn't do any donuts. So if it does that, then it's not eco friendly. You won't want eco friendly, but that if it's eco, it isn't eco friendly, just think it's cool. And now let's start driving this vehicle and have fun, and you don't have a real steering wheel. Okay, let's go. When you click start, first of all, remind me in that when you control the engine, this kind of looks like transmission, and this looks like the transmission gears you hold at a school bus, but way smaller. And that when you and that when you start the engine, we would know we would start right now. Yeah, start it. Don't start the engine while you start because if you start the engine at it at the same time, you're wasting 10% on the battery. So please, I will remind you that. And that when you click over here, it starts. This is start and reverse. So if you want to start and turn left, you click over here. So I'll show this demonstration. Want to go to the right? Do this. Want to go to the left? Do this. Now if you click this, it will reverse. Um, when you do this, it won't go straight. Like when I click it over here, it won't actually go straight. If you keep holding it at the same speed you did, like you want to go to the maximum speed. Do like this. transmission vehicle no trains on transmission trains planes any type of vehicle that is called heat that doesn't have any bad steering as these cars or RC control When you ride a car on the pavement, we have to test it on grass too. Because grass are mostly usually where cars run and mud too. So if you go to any mud, you could see grass. Cars can move past grass easily, but not bikes in these kind of cars. Because they, these go up at the same speed as bikes, but they could hit anything. They let pavement, you still have to control it. <laughs> now when you if it's stuck reverse it very hard reverse it back all the way and you can get in very easily from right or left it's not the minimum spot but if it doesn't work overall then just put stop okay please Shout out to our grandmother who delivered money for this car. We're so thankful you gave us this car because I'm basically living the opposite of my parents' childhood. And that I really enjoy this car and that this is my parents' childhood too. The reason why I'm very thankful is because this car is so expensive. And that we're shout out to my grandmother and I'm her grandson too. And I really love her. 
Bye guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for all who watched this video. I hope you subscribe, like, and hit the notification button so you won't miss a detailed and interesting video. Bye!